Tio, it's great to meet you in person. I oh, appreciate it. Tell us about the project you're working on. I am working on my clothing line, and it's called uh, Prototype 81. So uh, definitely stay, stay tuned for that. You can find a lot more information. You can go to my website, terrellon.com, uh, in the next couple of months or so. But uh, you can definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, that's at Terrell Owens and uh, my Facebook page, too. As well. You're one of the early masters of Twitter, I might add. Now, I mean, really, because you have millions of followers. I have to ask you, are you able to come back to the NFL as a free agent? I mean, are you... Oh, you but um, there's always, there is always a possibility. I don't think that uh, they're going to let me back in. What? Uh, again, that's just, how, it's, it's just how it is. It's politics. Uh, it's not like I can't play. Um, but other than that, that's, uh, we can't really do anything about it. What so. can we as fans of T.O. do to straighten out? I'm deadly serious about that. How I can mean, we change that? I mean, I mean, you guys have a voice, I think. Uh, there, I mean, there are a lot of things that uh, are created by movement, by right. masses, and so I'm sure it's... So let's put this together. You've been a great ambassador for the sport, and that your, your performance is almost second to none. You know the Dallas Cowboys, okay? Right. You've had no off-the-field problems. None. You've been a great entrepreneur and business person. What the heck is going on? We have to change that state of affairs, okay? I mean, I mean, people like yourself, and yep. you get the right people behind you, uh, you know, I, I definitely think some things can change. I got an idea. Hold on a second right here. Hey, Mike Silver, this is our next project right here, all right? I went to Mike, I went to Cal with Mike, so yeah, 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 right? So, so how do you, how would you assess uh, Jameis Winston coming out? Because there was a lot of criticism about him, but after his first year, what are your thoughts? And I ask because you caught passes from a lot of different people. You're basically an expert at judging quarterbacks, I'm curious. Well, I think he didn't do he didn't do bad. Um, I don't think he did as great as he probably expected. Uh, again, playing that position is hard. Uh, it's it's uh, I know a lot of people make it look effortless, but I think um, I think with this one year under his belt, and uh, as you said, it's, he's been able to assess and go back and look at the film and see how he could get better. Uh, definitely, I think I've heard someone talk about uh, him getting himself back and uh, getting himself in better shape. Uh, so again, uh, a number of things can attribute to the level of success of, of an individual. So uh, definitely nutrition, uh, definitely uh, you know, the workout routines and things of that nature uh, can, can do a lot of things to really heighten your career and really take it to another level, especially with the And lastly, because I know we got a, the Dallas Cowboys. Should they draft a quarterback this year in your field? Well, I think it, it would be smart, you know, I think considering uh, the number of injuries that Tony has sustained in the last two or three years. Uh, so, again, I'm, I'm sure he realizes that he can't really play this game forever, uh, especially with the, the, the toll that his body has taken the last couple of years. It's been, it's been rough on him. So, um, again, they should, you know, really kind of start looking toward the future. Um, and and for, I know for a receiver's sake, I know Dez Bryant, he's going to need somebody yeah, to right. get him the ball or, or it, all hell is going to Do you break text Dez once in a while? Uh, uh, every now and then when he, when he texts us back. <laughs> oh, there's a message to him. Hey, sir, thank you so much. All right, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah.